one of the oldest cities in Europe, Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, was founded 7,000 years ago. Bulgaria is the third country with most valuable archaeological sites discovered on their territories, coming after only Greece and Italy. The famous Bulgarian rose oil is used for making some of the world's most popular and expensive perfumes. Not to mention, Bulgaria produces as much as 85% of the world's rose oil. The Bulgarian folk song Delo de Hajduk has gone outside was sent in space on the board of the US space probe Voyager. Almost one third of Bulgaria is covered in forests. Bulgarian yogurt is the best in the world. The Lactobacillus bulgarius, which gives the unique taste of yogurt, can be found only in Bulgaria. The largest functioning Orthodox cathedral in Bulgaria is St. Alexander Nevsky Memorial Cathedral. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral was built in the early 20th century in memory of the 20,000 Russian, Ukrainian, Belarusian and Bulgarian soldiers who died in the Russo-Turkish War. 1877-1878, as a result of which Bulgaria was liberated from Ottoman rule. Most of the cathedral was built between 1904 and 1912. It is one of the oldest churches in Sofia and its history is closely related to the history of the city. In fact, Sofia is named after this church. The Hagia Sophia church stands in the middle of an ancient necropolis and many tombs have been unearthed both under and near the church. Because Sofia represents divine wisdom, Rather than historical saint, icons within the church depict Sophia as a woman standing above three other women representing faith, hope and love. The Bulgarian rose has a deep and strong aroma and from its flower, Bulgarians produce the finest rose oil, referred to as liquid gold for its unique properties and high price. The rose oil is a natural elixir with uncountable list of benefits. It was first called Vitoshka, the Vitosha Boulevard, back in 1883. Vitosha Boulevard is the world's 22nd most expensive trade street. Vitosha Boulevard is home to most of Sofia's posh boutiques and brand name stores. By far the most upscale street in the city you can enjoy a day of window shopping or stop for coffee at one.
The National Palace of Culture in Central Sofia is a spectacular example of the scope and ambition of architectural design under the communist government in Bulgaria. Works on the project were completed in 1981, which coincided with Bulgaria's 1300th anniversary. The main hall impressed with its size and clear socialist architecture, and yet it has good acoustics and great stage. Some exhibitions are constantly held in the lobby, so while waiting for the concert, you can also look at the expositions. Statue of Saint Sophia standing on a column in the middle of a busy crossroad. Her golden face look upon the Battenberg Square, where soon the presidency and the government houses are situated. The Sofia Central Mineral Bath a part of the Sofia Regional Historical Museum, which occupies a colorful neo-Byzantine building dating back to 1906. The baths were used by locals until 1986, which included saunas, massage parlors and relaxation therapies. The Sofia Central Mineral Baths serve as a backdrop to a lovely park, which is open to the public. A fountain occupying in the center of the garden is fed by not natural mineral water, which you are free to try. Locals often line up with bottles in hand to fill up on the water. is a typical monument of Ottoman architecture which adds color to the Sofia city center. Bani Bashi means a lot of baths and the name comes from the neighboring Centralnata Banya, central baths. <laughs> It was originally the Thracian city of Serdi, but in 27th before Christ it was taken over by the Romans. The construction of the fortress ended around 180. Only few of the houses survived, but enough to get an idea of their size and shape. There is a whole underground city under the central square, Largo. Somewhere nearby there are metro trains in the tunnels, cars are driving from above and tourists are walking. And here is a perfectly preserved Decimanus Maximus street, running from east to west, Cardo street, preserved fragments of buildings with mosaic floors and churches. Many parts of the fortress continue to be excavated until very recently. For example, when the Hotel Arena di Sertica was being built in 2004, the Roman amphitheater at the turn of 2-3 centuries after Christ discovered completely unintentionally. Fragments of some buildings can be seen in the underpass that leads to the metro station of the same name.
the Church of Saint Petka of the Settlers was built under the Ottoman occupation with donations from the region's master settlers. At the time, the building of churches was tolerated if their height does not exceeded of a soldier on horseback. This explains why it was half buried under the ground level. The church is dedicated to Martyr Petka Ikoniska, an 11th century Bulgarian saint. The church was declared a cultural monument and it's still operational. Its Memorial Day is celebrated on 28th October, the day of Saint Petka. The oldest and best preserved monument of architecture since Roman times in Sofia is the rotunda church Saint George. It was built in the beginning of the 1st century after Christ during the reign of the Roman Emperor Constantine the Great. After the liberation of Bulgaria in 1878, the rotunda was deserted and after the death of Knaz Alexander Battenberg, reigned 1879-1886, it was transformed into a mausoleum. Its restoration began in 1915. Nowadays, the temple is operational and performs daily worships in the Eastern Church singing, also known as Byzantine music. This amazing store in the heart of Sofia, full of really cool and peculiar gadgets, gifts and books. It has great selection of books and very friendly stuff. It is a great place to have a look around for all things book-related in a very quaint little store packed with books and small items from different fandoms. This store will have anything pop culture related that will make any nerd happy. Harry Potter items, plushes resembling famous artists, historical figures, games and more. You can really find anything here. Church of St. Nicholas, the Miracle Maker, also known as the Russian Church in Sofia. This extraordinary white and green building was designed by Russian architect Preobrazhensky and built by Russian workers. The Russian Church was built in 1914 in Russian Revival style. It is a copy of those Russian churches from 16th century. Dozens of people still visit the grave of the Archbishop who died in 1950, praying and leaving notes asking for wishes to be granted. The monument to Tsar Liberator was erected in honor of Russian Emperor Alexander II who liberated Bulgaria of Ottoman rule during the Russo-Turkish War. Author of the design is the Italian sculptor Arnoldo Zocchi, who won the first prize at the international competition held in 1900. The monument was inaugurated in 1907. The statue above the pedestal depicts the Russian soldiers and Bulgarian volunteers led by the goddess of victory Nike. Other bus reliefs feature some decisive for the victory battles and generals. Above the massive cornice 
is the figure of Emperor Alexander II on a horse in hand with the manifesto for declaring the Russian-Turkish Liberation War. The Larga is an architectural ensemble of the three socialist classicism and devices in central Sofia, the capital of Bulgaria, designed and built in the 1950s with the intention to become the city's new representative center. Today it is regarded as one of the prime examples of socialist classicism architecture in southeastern Europe as well as one of the main landmarks of Sofia. The yellow cobblestone square around which the assembly is centered is called Nezavisimo Square Independence. Independent Square is formed by the Knaz Alexander Dundunkov Boulevard and Tsar Osvoboditel Boulevard merging from the east to continue as Todor Alexandrov Boulevard west of the Largo. Enjoyed this video of top things to do and see in Sofia. This is a beautiful city in the center of Bulgaria that is really worthy to visit and spend not only the weekend but whole weeks. If you enjoyed it, please subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I hope you have wholehearted and adventurous days. See you soon in the next travel.